first day uploading and trying to adjust to my summer schedule. I am going to try to upload twice a week. So if there is something in particular that you would like to see, definitely let me know. Today we are doing this copper, bronzy, earthy, summer nights magic. So if you're interested in recreating this look right here for summer nights, then make sure to keep on watching. Also, I will be using new products, so if you're interested in my thoughts mini reviews, stay tuned to the end of the video. Make sure to subscribe, turn on your notifications, and let's jump in. Alright guys, I already prepped and primed my eye. I'm gonna go in with the Stay Fabulous palette. I'm gonna go in with Heart of Gold and work my way to Bittersweet. I'm gonna start laying down those transition shades. Next, I want to go in with True Hearted and Starry Eye to start laying that brown shade. So we're going to go ahead and lay down Wild at Heart. And I was super surprised with this color because I did not wet it at all and it was pretty nice and foiled. I'm going to take it in the back of my finger and go in with a brush so you can see that it is super pigmented. And I want to start working from the base all the way to the crease. So once I have most of it laid down, I'm going to go in with the opposite side of that brush and go into a more orangey shade. Go in with the shade Passionate and I'm going to try to lay it in the center of the lid. I'm just going to go in with the shade Confident to darken the outer edge. So we can leave it like this, but I really want to try a liquid eyeshadow that I just got. It's clean color and it's called Mega Watts Liquid Eyeshadow and this is the shade Hearted. So it's like a pinky, orangey tone in the bottle. So I don't know if you can really see the swatch. I'd say that this is nice, except that you really need a base because as you can see in the middle of the swatch, the more that you swipe it with the brush, it kind of takes off the product. Probably my only complaint right now. I really have a metallic thing going on. This is just kind of like a topper. So when the light hits, I have some kind of extra sparkle and maybe like a glossy effect. This is an option step I'm just gonna do it because I want to see the lasting power and how that's gonna set with the other eyeshadows carefully placing it because I don't want to take off products I will say that for this shade it does take a little bit to dry so make sure that it's super dry before you go in with your eyeliner We're gonna go ahead and finish the eyes. I'm thinking really, really smoky, like a dark green at the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and lay down our base colors. So I'm gonna go in with True Hearted and Starry Eyed. Start laying down the dark base. I'm gonna go in with Confident in the outer edges. So now that we have our smoky in this, I'm gonna go in with a dark green pencil, put it in the waterline and then drag it down a little bit. So now that I have the dark green shade, I'm gonna go in with this beautiful olive tone, uh, charming in the palette. And I'm gonna try to put it in the inner corner and then see how that goes if I want it all the way. So I'm not really liking how it's not turning out green. It looks more of a bronzy gold, but that's fine. So I'm going to leave it in the inner corner and focus on really brightening up the inner corner. I'm going to go in with the LA Color Strobing Illuminating Powder. This is the shade Champagne. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this look. This is perfect for any summer 
nights where you want like a copper, a bronze, some earthy tones at the bottom with a lot of metallic. So let's talk about a couple products that I'm using for the first time. So these I got two shades. I got this pinky one and like a brown green one. Overall I think these are good. I paid about maybe two dollars for these and I feel like it really set the shadow. It does take a little bit to dry, but I feel like it gives it a nice metallic effect. I would say these are worth it for the price. I did find it in a discount store, so check them out. Speaking of glow, I have a video coming up of a review of two different foundations from this brand, LA Colors. But right now, I've been using Strobing Illuminating Powder, and this is a colored champagne. This was $3. You get a really nice size in the pan, and as you can see, it is a really, really intense highlight, and you don't need to wet it. So I really enjoy this for a super glossy wet look or just on the skin like I did right now. Definitely check these out. They have a pink shade and a more coppery tone shade. I wish they had more shades, but this one is my current favorite. So when Urban Decay had a sale, I picked up the concealer stick and I wanted it to contour. Not a big fan of like products like on a stick because I have super dry skin and I just feel like it's going to look cakey for me. So if you know of a good foundation on a stick for dry skin and you know some tips and tricks, definitely let me know in the comment section because that's something that I struggle with. But anyway, this in the shade M16, something that wasn't too dark and wasn't like too orangey. This is the perfect shade for my skin tone. I feel like it did a good job not overdoing the contour. Like I could use this with minimal makeup and it would be fine. So I really, really enjoyed this. I think I paid 10 or $11 for this one because it was on sale. Lastly, I picked up some new stuff from Essence. So Keep It Perfect Makeup Setting Spray. I feel like besides the aggressive sprayer, like, I mean like, aggressive. Not a big fan of how this smells, so get it on sale. I think I paid like $3 for it. Does it really do wonders for my makeup? I feel like I look extremely matte right now and this didn't really do anything. But I could be judging it harshly, this is the first time that I use it. So I will continue to use it, but just as a first impression, the smell is a little strong for me. The sprayer is not the most convenient. So am I going to reach for it? I don't know. It is cheap, so if it does work, it's definitely worth the price. Lastly, this is not a new product to the market, but I don't really reach for it very often. This is probably my second or third time that I use the Revlon Photo Ready Reducing Primer. I feel like it does reduce the like pore. It kind of dries out my skin to like a whole new level to where I feel like if you look closely at my skin, this is responsible for the, like I'm like borderline cakey. And usually when I use the Super Stay foundation, I'm fine. It's just that I don't know if it's the combination of the primer and the spray that I feel like my face feels like, you know, kind of tight, cakey. And lastly, I want to talk about the Ruby Kisses All Over Glow bronzer so when I saw the display it's kind of categorized by light to dark with the irony being that the light one is super orange from my skin tone I feel and the dark one I feel like it's like perfect this one is deep glow and it is like the most beautiful satin finish bronzer that it gives your skin like a light glow you could use this alone or you could use it like I did just to kind of top off the cheek area, a little bit of the forehead. So this was $3 and I feel like they have very interesting products. So definitely check them out. So that's pretty much it. This is my first video officially changing schedules, adjusting to summer. I have a lot of great things planned. If you want to see a particular color or brand review, please leave it in the comment section below. If you're not subscribed, make sure you are. Turn on the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Yeah.